In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to see your location in the field with respect to block boundaries using the eBird mobile app. Here I'm using an iPhone, but it's the same process on Android. Remember that it's important to keep checklists within Atlas block boundaries. If you cross a border, stop your current checklist and start a new one. So here's how to see your location in the field. Start a new checklist. On the checklist page, there are three sections across the top of the screen. From left to right, they are the length of time that has elapsed since you started your checklist, the distance traveled, and the location. The quickest way to see your location is to click on the middle section for distance traveled. So I haven't moved yet, so it says zero miles. If I click on the zero miles, A map displays showing my location as a green dot. If I had walked some, it would also show a blue line showing the path I traveled. So if I zoom out on the map, I can see the block boundaries outlined in white. To zoom out, I'm moving two fingers towards each other, towards each other on the screen. And you can see that I'm really close to a block boundary. So as I go for a walk, I can quickly check this map to see when I should stop this checklist and start a new one. I can hit close to return to my checklist. And that's it. Note that the block boundaries only show up if you're in the Atlas portal and not when you're in Core eBird. See our other tutorials on how to set the portal in the mobile app.